Hello again everyone, welcome. In this lecture you are going to see how we are going to do the activity codes and why is it useful. Uh, I love the activity codes by myself, I really love it. It's very very useful when it comes to organize, to filter, to revert, to see whatever you want to see at any given time as you are going to see now, how you are going to create it and how you are going to group and sort with it as well. Okay. So first, how do you create these activity codes? You would go to the enterprise and the enterprise you'll find activity codes. No project activity codes have been defined. Please click on the modify button to add or select. Okay. So zero activity codes are there. So press modify and then activity code name okay but first what activity codes do we need for such project let's remove the filter for the milestones and let's see the activity codes is used to define each and every item same material or same subcontractor or same supplier or same discipline or same trade whatsoever that thing that you want to group it together the more you do the activity codes is way better than doing less because you can filter and use it whenever you want to see whatever you want. So for now we can do an activity code for engineering works and inside the engineering we do the same as the WBS structural architecture and maybe for engineering alone we can create different and several activity codes. So we might create only for the engineering just to know how and to see how we are going to organize it as well. So go to enterprise, activity codes, and here it comes again, modify, add new activity code. What would you name it? I would name it engineering. Engineering. Why? Because we have procurement and construction. So what's under engineering? We would add a new one, structural struct let's make it structural what else is this enough but this is same level or no this is not under engineering this is a different level so you might instead create procurement you might create construction and you might create for the engineering, you might create submission status, which is, we can name it submission status. And you might create, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's way too many activity codes. But let's finalize first one by one. Okay, here you'll see you can choose GR001, it's the, active, the project code as here. So first, let's see the engineering. Again, when you press add button here, you're going to add inside engineering. Inside engineering, you'll make structural, struct, str, which is, you can write it exact description, structural. You can add architectural, which is architectural, write the description. And the final one is MEP. MEP. So what do you suggest? Shall we add submission, review, engineer review, resubmission, approval here? If we add this, it wouldn't differ totally from the activity. So this means we can use the activity ID to filter rather than just picking the same and especially now we don't have so much structural by meaning it's only one structure and it's only one building and it's only one floor you might use to add let's say submission you might make it here under size structural you make submission and you can add the rest as well and this the submission you can add the engine approval blah 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 whatsoever you can all add all of this and then copy it back here but this will define only the group that you see above, 
which you cannot see it right now but you can see let's close this one and go here which are these activities alone it doesn't make sense if it's only one one type of activity you can just group by the ws so it doesn't make sense so rather i would do another activity code submission not under engineering or structural so how it would look like let's remove these two first delete and done so now i have finished this one i would make another one which is the submission and i'll add submission sub make it capital it would be easier to read mission engineer review engineer review add and another two and they would be resub resubmission you'll see how we are going to use it now here we are going to add the approval which is the approval from the consultant so as you see that the activity codes you define how you want to organize how you want to group how you want to sort your activities so now you have you, ha you have in mind that you want whenever you want to make a filter and to see only the submission so you'll filter activity code and submission and these three activities will be shown to you and rather than showing structure submission architecture submission so it doesn't make any difference you can use the activity id so it doesn't make any difference that's why you need only code for both of them or three of them tries of them so now we have finished the engineering but we didn't assign we have defined the engineering activity code there's no need uh, really to do the procurement especially it's very minor here you are not going to see it how we are going to use it we'll do one for pre-qualification but if there's a lot you will totally understand it so let's create even the construction and to know what to show in the construction in the construction you can show a lot of things you can show only excavation works but again it will show one activity you can show structural architectural and the MEB in the MEB here you will show this activity again under MAB or you can show it under structural as you wish in the activity code to differ between it and between the WBS and you can also show the different types ceramic tiles even doing the activity codes for the construction wouldn't be the perfect one or we might do like excavation then blinding it's another one then we do for concrete, which is footings, column neck, uh, footings, column neck, install reapers, installing columns, this would be concrete, and the steel would be one activity, it would be too much, and backfilling one. Plug works, we would do with areas, ceramic tiles, which would be two activities, porcelain, it wouldn't be that convenient to use such code, especially it's a very small project, it's like, I don't know how many activities, but it's almost nothing so when you see this activity it's it's so so less let's check the projects here outside let's close each and everything and here as it, you see it's only 54 activities no need to such thing so to see a better example we are going to show you only the engineering and to see how it will affect let's assign the engineering activity codes quite quick I usually prefer to add the columns so right click anywhere then check the columns here you have activity codes project open those and you need the engineering you will add it here most probably and you need the submission here the two columns that would be easier for you to add the codes so in the engineering this one is the structural here as you see display current projects values but there is no current project values didn't assign any activity code yet so you should make it all values in such case you would use the structural works and here structural works and this one you would use the architectural shift and link fill down and now we have it ready in seconds MEP 
fell down and now you finished submission is a little bit tricky you will use this one again all valleys submission you might use control then use this activity and this activity and done you have made it review by the consultant you would engineer review shoot this activity again this activity again and you have made it same for goes for resubmit and approval Congrats, now you have made activity codes for the engineering works you have. You are going to see more in the filter and the group and sort, especially for this item, it would be way easier to see such items. So by now you have understood what's the activity codes. Let's go to the other lecture.